Today I want to talk about an, uh, uh, kind of a myth or a, a half equation that's been given to us over and over and over again. And I think it's because it's easy to sell. And so, like we've been taught in religion to just have faith. And faith is a true principle, but without works it's dead. We've been taught by Disney that when you wish upon a star, anything your heart desires will come true. And again, we've, we're talking about faith without works. We're talking about not doing the work or the necessary actions that create the result. Uh, so it's like having a handful of seeds or a, a, a uh, whatever, an amount of seeds that you could plant that could grow into an abundance of fruit. And instead of planting those seeds and nurturing them and doing the work necessary to cultivate them and bring them to their full potential, you just sit there and say, well, I've got seeds and I know God will deliver. I've said my prayers. I have faith. Uh, I believe, I believe, I believe. But there's two parts to this equation. The third, I mean, the, even the secret. So in the New Age movement is all about, oh, just hold the space, hold the space. Feel the feelings, you know, hold that vibration, that frequency, and it will come to you. This is only half of the equation. I don't care how we package it. I don't care whether it came from religion, from Disney, from any movies, radio, uh, music, uh, The Secret, New Age, anything, there's two parts to this equation. The first part is the opening up to receive and having the mindset that allows you to be at peace and to generate that magnetic attraction to, to what you want to attract that you want to have in your life. And then the next piece is to do the work, and, and in order to do the work, you have to ha actually have to know what to do. <sighs> so, knowing the necessary skill sets, and being clear on the necessary actions, and taking those actions while holding that space, that faith, that frequency, that vibration. So no matter what terms you want to use, there's more than one part to this equation, and the more you sit back and hope, and pray and intend that things are going to happen without actually doing the necessary things that allow that to happen, uh, the more you're just going to get frustrated and wonder why it doesn't come about. Um, and then the next piece is really about, uh, you know, so you hold that vibration, you take the action, but don't just take any action, take inspired action. So put yourself in a space where you can be inspired. Give yourself exercise, meditation, clear fuel, you know, powerful fuel for your body through your food, your nutrition, and all those other things. So think, what do I need to do to create a space where I can, uh, an environment that will allow me to be inspired? What do I got to do to invest in my knowledge and skill sets to follow through and execute the necessary actions? And then what do I got to do to get myself in a space to be at peace and follow through with that be, do, have equation, which is be what I think I will be, so feel the way I think I will feel when I have it, whatever it is that I'm wanting, feel that way now, and then do what a person that feels that way would do, and then you will have what a person that feels and does those things would have. So be, do, have, versus what we've been sold, the other thing we've been sold besides just sit there and have faith and hope. Uh, is that we, if we work really hard, then we will have plenty of money and then we'll be happy, which is a lie as well. So pull the equation together, be happy, do the things that you need to do that, to create the end result, and then hold that space and be inspired, take inspired action, and get big results in your life. You deserve to have the best of everything. One other thing I hear all the time is that like everything physical and material is egotistical and if we want it then we're bad and we're on the wrong track and it's all ego, it's all human and we should detach from all things that we enjoy. I don't buy into that shit. This life is meant to be enjoyable. If we're going to enjoy the next life we probably ought to learn how to enjoy this one. Yeah, we don't want to be addicted to the material things of this world but being able to be detached from them and enjoy them at the same time is a very important piece of the puzzle. That's it for today, guys. Have an amazing day.